dear students in this video we will be discussing hdl code hdl stands for the hardware description language this is the language which has been used to describe the logic circuits so for example i want to realize a simple and gate so if what are the inputs for an and gate suppose if a and b are the inputs then i'll be writing the code as whatever my output that will be assigned with a and b suppose if my output is y y less than or equal to because that is the assignment operator in hdl so in vhdl it is and then i'll be assigning a and b that's it put a semicolon to the end of it that is a single statement which has been written to dem or to realize it and get so now this HDL there are two types one is Verilog HDL another one is VHDL so in this video we are going to learn what is VHDL how to realize basic gates I just told you uh, just a code how to do it and also we'll be discussing little more details on it how we can able to do this so first there are two languages as I said Verilog and VHDL Verilog will be used different procedures and once we write the code in it Verilog so it has to be create a test bench to provide the inputs and then we can able to simulate it so in VHDL so directly once you complete this coding you can just go to the model sim simulator and we can able to force the values every time for the corresponding inputs and we can able to note down what is the expected output for that particular inputs so now in this video i'll be discussing on vhdl vhdl stands for very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language so now first we'll be discussing on off adder off adder we know it is having two inputs a and b and we'll be generating two outputs sum and carry so the expression for sum as we have already solved this so here is the truth table of an of adder so it's been written two inputs a and b and the sum and carry are the two outputs so for these four different combinations of inputs this is what the output we get and it has been simplified here we find the expression for sum and carry now we are just realizing these expressions with vhdl that's it so now in order to implement and just use a keyword and in order to implement r just use a keyword r if it is a bar it means it's a not so a bar can be realized like not a just like use the keyword not so now if i want to make this i can just split this so a bar b is one and a b bar is another so i can just do our operation on that and that is how also i can able to realize this with the vhdl so now these things by default you are going to get all these contents so this vhdl code you are going to write it in the xilinx so first you to create a project once you create a new project so you need to follow these procedures over there and you need to provide the ports ports are basically what are the inputs and outputs if any intermediate also we need to specify that in this problem a and b are the inputs so it's been given a is in b is in this a and b are inputs sum and carrier outputs it's been given sum and carriers output so i'm storing these results intermediate results there so i've just declared another two intermediate results sorry two variables in order to store the intermediate results y1 y2 since these are the output of one stage and the input for the other stage so it's been chosen the option as in out here so once you complete this ports when you are doing all this so whatever the name you have given for this file will be reflected directly in this place entity of this is the name of the file again here you'll be having the name of the file again here you'll be having the name of the file whenever you just open a project these three locations will be having the name of the file 
and then you will be getting these ports as and when you choose it. So then here after this begin you need to write the code. Now you know what is the expression right. So it is a bar b plus a b bar. So a bar in order to implement not a and b not a and b is the y1 then y2 a and not b a and not b you need to put the semicolon to the end of the statements this is your y1 and y2 so this is the sum and carry we need to compute now so carry it is a b a and b for sum it is this this is in y1 this is in y2 so y1 or y2 is the sum this is how we can able to do the uh, vh or we are able to write this vhdl code for the half adder what is the change in case of an half subtractor so the sum whatever the expression the same expression retains for difference as well in the half subtractor just rename this variable as difference so it's been done till here no issues but what if the carry the carry here is a b the borrow over there is a bar b a bar b already we have implemented here you can just write down carry is equal to y1 that's it so with this small modification we can able to do it for half subtractor now we need to look into the full subtractor and full adder this is the waveform of the half adder so you can see this yellow line which has been vertically placed on this waveform if you just move this cursor and click anywhere so that particular line what is the content will be displayed on this so if it is uh, 0 0 1 or whatever it is it will be shown here so for in this example it's been placed over here so here the first one is a input a so it's been mentioned as one second one is b it's been mentioned as one third one is c it's been written as one so a b c are one 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 so then output y is one so sum is one and carry carry is also sorry carry is also one so like that wherever you place the cursor whatever the contents everything will be displayed over there so if all a b c are one 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 so in this case only two a right two inputs a and b if it is one one the output will be one but we have talked here on multiple things uh, i don't know what exactly they need to showcase over here so even that intermediate results it's been displayed over here so if you want you can display it otherwise no issues but the thing is you need to place the cursor on the waveform to note down what is the corresponding values in each of the uh, waveform so now we just move on to full subtractor sorry full adder so this uh, full adder when we want to look in so the number of select bits sorry the number of inputs in the full adder is a b c are the inputs so now so this is the expression for a b c in so what is the sum so we take a we write down the expressions and then we take common out of this try to make it in the simpler way so that it can be reuse the content which has been done earlier right so here it is a bar b bar c in so the final result is c in into a bar b plus a b a b a bar b bar plus a b then c in bar into a bar b plus a b bar this is what the expression we got it for sum now we need to realize this expression for sum and then when we want to look into this carry we try to realize this in terms of any of these so it will be easy implementation so now the result we got it for sum is c in into a x nar b plus c in bar into a x r b this a x r has already been implemented so just extract the content of a x r so and then and with c in and or with that x r component whatever we received it's only for 
the first term, right? The second term it get cancelled because C in bar into C in it gets cancelled. The result here is 1. 1 into AB we get that AB. So, this is what we need to do it now. Now, in order to realize this, so we need to follow the same procedure that there are 3 inputs. So, A, B and C are the 3 inputs and 2 outputs sum and carry. I will not be bothering about this Y. Only when it is required, I will make use. Otherwise, no. If you just look at this problem, so this, whatever I realize it for sum, I am just making use of this part as it is in the carry as well. So, it will be helpful if we can implement this. Okay. So, now what we do? I will try to realize, provide all boards. Then once you start realizing it, so within this, write down what is that Y is. Y is nothing but in this case. So, A, X, A, 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 sorry, A bar B plus A B bar. That is A X R B. That's what the meaning. So, it's been written here. Y is equal to not A and not B. So, here it's been written with X naught. Okay. Not A and not B or A and B. Directly in one shot we can do it. Suppose if you find difficulty in understanding this, you can split across multiple steps and you could be able to write down the so, look into this expression C in into A X naught B. As of now, this X naught has been done. A bar B, A bar B bar plus A B. This X naught has been done. Directly take this result that Y and do and operation with C in. Or that C in whatever is there, right? Not C in and not Y. Because x nor we have done so we are trying to use the same result so write it not by that is the sum what in case of carry carry expression is already known so that we try to realize it in terms of this correct so c in into a x r b a x r b we are just using not y that is your x r c in into not y that is your x r or a b or a b so like this we can able to write the vhdl code for off adder observe factor and full adder so similarly in case of full subtractor just check out what is this expression for full subtractor and try to realize that okay so the expression with, with respect to the sum and difference will be same retain the same thing so now carry terms will change when compared to uh, the of sub sorry full subtractor full subtractor and full adder the carry part is changed so what we need to do what is that particular part we need to highlight only on uh, that changes that's it this is where it is a b c are the ports y is the intermediate result difference and bar so now just realize nor x nor a bar b bar plus a b it's been done so just make use of that in order to implement the carry part sorry borrow part in the difference and uh, write down that circuit sorry that expression so with this i'll wind up the video of the learning of adder of subtractor full adder and full subtractor using vhdl code Thank you.